So what I really want to take from your research is an idea that this pro-democracy nationalism inoculates against the anti-democracy nationalism. But when I think of the riots in Gujarat, which happened 20 years after independence and five years before the, the time period you're talking about and the rise of the BJP today, I can't take away that message. <laughs> so sort of what is, what is the message that I can take away about the difference yeah. and the interplay of these two types of nationalisms? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, Much better said than what I was trying to get right, at. Right, right. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> so I guess what I would say is that the word inoculates is far too strong. Um, all the explanations that political scientists have for when democracy does or doesn't come about, they're all probabilistic explanations. They're not that's nothing, not um, a super diverse ethnic group, a super high level of economic development, nothing is, an abs is absolutely sufficient to become a democracy. So the claim that I'm making is that all else being equal, and of course nothing else is ever equal, right? Because countries are very particular um, and uh, spaces and time, or space and time specific creations, but that all else being equal, a relatively flat and open, porous conception of what it means to be a member of that nation is a resource for democracy because at subsequent moments of political crisis, when you have political entrepreneurs pushing to get to power, um, they, if there is, by contrast, a narrative of nation that, cre that specifically sets aside a group as not being core to defining the nation, that at moments of crisis, that particular group can be more easily targeted by politicians in power. And that's what you see happening um, with Muslims in uh, the Rohingyas in Myanmar. Um, it's what you see today happening in India um, and what you saw uh, when Modi was uh, the chief minister of Gujarat, which is when the riots that you mentioned happened. He was, he's very much been pushing a Hindu nationalist vision. And it's not a coincidence that's exactly where you saw the riots happening in India because it's where the chief politician in power was pushing a majoritarian view of what it meant to be a citizen of that nation. So to go back to your question, what do I take away from this talk? It's not that anything inoculates democracy. I mean, democracy is only as strong as our belief in it and as our willingness to essentially make sacrifices on behalf of a particular way of organizing and sharing power. Um, but what I can say is that in addition to all those structural factors, which to make democracy a little bit more likely, so if you're a little bit wealthier, a little bit more likely. If you don't have oil and gas as a major part of your export, democracy is a little more likely. And what I want to add to the conversation is when you have a nationalism that's relatively egalitarian, it makes democracy a little more likely, for the reasons I mentioned. Except that in all these cases, you have both kinds of nationalism Pervading. Right. So I think that's another. Sorry, yeah. Your turn, but. Yeah. Yeah. So just briefly, I think that that was that was a question I was sure I was going to get. <laughs> so, right? so how you know you're talking about one nationalism? There are lots of kinds of nationalism. And I think that's absolutely true. Um, founding moments um, provide particularly powerful narratives of what the nation is, but of course those na narratives are contested and changing over time. But it, 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 it they're often surprisingly durable. And um, what you see happening in India right now is a sustained attempt to change what the national identity is. And to the extent that it endures, it's in power, it begins to change national curriculums, which you know, is exactly what we're seeing, um, that will become a resource for essentially um, promoting one form of democratic breakdown, which is when those civil and political liberties are systematically um, denied to the outgroups.